Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. We are um, honored uh, para tumayo at uh, makashare sa pulpito ng inyong pastor at uh, ni uh, LM District President, ang ating uh, mother of the district, si uh, Pastora Marquez. And then, of course, the... Uh, the team of ministers dito sa church, I give honor to you all. Um, my wife and I uh, would stand behind this pulpit, um, being humbled. It is an honor. It really is an honor na makashare po kami sa inyong pulpito at uh, makapangaral sa inyo ng salita ng Diyos. Amen. Um, nakikita ko po ang inyong uh, pagpupuri, ang inyong pagsamba sa Panginoon at uh, nagre-reflect ang inyong puso kung paano ninyo kamahal ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Amen? Praise God. Uh, we are blessed with the singing and uh, the way you worship the Lord. Praise God. I'm also um, um, impressed and um, amazed with the talents in this church the musicians are doing. Doing fantastic jobs in the kingdom of God. Amen. Ang ating mga talento, mga kapatid, ano man yan, Amen. Isuko mo, ibigay mo sa Panginoon at ang Panginoon ang gagamit sa talento mo. Amen. Hallelujah. There's nothing like the talents being used in the kingdom of God. Nothing more. Amen. That can replace that. Kung gamitin man natin yan sa labas, pwede. Pero binigay natin yan, uh, binigay yan ng Panginoon sa atin kung kaya ginagamit natin sa kung kanino nagbigay. Amen. Palakpaka natin ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Puri natin siya. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's all stand together. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. We are looking forward uh, also for this afternoon uh, upang makapangaral tayo at makapag-minister doon sa Section 1 sa Almendez Gym. And so... Um, um, just because na magpipreach ako doon mamaya does not mean that I will have to take it lightly ang pagpipreach ko sa inyo ngayong umaga Amen Every time I stand before God and minister before the people of God I try to do my best just for the glory of the Lord <laughs> Hallelujah Praise God, praise God, praise God Let's um Open our Bibles. Amen. Let's open our Bibles. In um, the book of uh, Luke chapter 17. Luke chapter 17. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It's good to be with my wife. Lagi kong sinasabi yan, mga kapatid, na hindi ako kumpleto kung hindi ko kasama ang asawa ko. And so, um, uh, every time I preach, I always ask her to sing. And um, that will help the ministry. And we're glad that the Lord is using us um, different places with different talents that we have. At uh, ginagamit kami ng Panginoon. Luke chapter 17. Verse 5, basahin po natin yan, mga kapatid. Praise God. Hallelujah. You found it, say amen. amen. And the apostles said unto the Lord, Increase our faith. Increase our faith. I would like to preach to you today in that simple message, simple title, Lord, increase our faith. Faith. Would you raise your hands towards heaven today? Hallelujah. Come on, purihin natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Salamat, Panginoon, ngayong umaga. Salamat sa aming pagtitipon, Panginoong Diyos. 
Salamat, O God, sa pagkakataon na kami ay mayroong panambahan upang purihin ka at sambahin, O Lord. At sa pagkakataon ito, o Diyos, ng iyong mga salita ay ipapangaral. Salamat, O God, sa ganitong pagkakataon na kung saan ikaw ay mangungusap sa amin, O Diyos. Ikaw ay mangangaral sa amin, O God. Ikaw, Panginoon, ang kakatagpo sa aming mga pangangailangan. Ikaw ang magpapala sa amin, O Diyos. Hallelujah! Pinupuri ka namin. Pinapasalamatan sa ganitong pagkakataon. Sapagkat sa ganitong pagkakataon, O Diyos, kailangan namin ang aming pananampalataya ay titibay. Ang aming pananampalataya ay lalakas. Kaya, Panginoon, sa aming pakikinig sa iyong mga salita, tulungan mo kami, Panginoon, for us to have undivided at to open our ears and to open our hearts and to receive your word today. Oh God, Lord, we pray, increase our faith, Lord. Increase our faith, oh God. Hallelujah. And everybody say, praise the Lord. Everybody shout in Jesus' name. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon, mga kapatid. Praise the Lord. Why don't you shake hands with your neighbors? Kamayan mong yung katabi at sabihin mo, let the Lord increase our faith today. Hallelujah! Let the Lord increase your faith today. In Jesus' name. Palakpakan uli natin ang Panginoon. Hallelujah! You may be seated. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Napakahalaga po ng ating pananampalataya. I want you all to know that our faith is very crucial, very important. In everything that we do, we all do it by faith. In our relationship with God, sa ating relasyon sa ating Panginoong Diyos. Amen. Ang lahat ng ito ay ginagawa natin sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya. You give by faith, You uh, um, you pray by faith. You worship by faith. Even when we preach the word of God, we have to preach it by faith. Hallelujah! Whatever we do, we do it by faith because faith is the indispensable element. Ito ay isang napakimportanting factor or elemento ng ating relasyon sa Panginoon. Kung wala kang pananampalataya, hindi mo po pwedeng ma-please ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Ganito ka-importante ang ating pananampalataya. So you cannot underestimate faith. Amen. Because everything that we do, it's all about faith. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Hebrews 11.6, Without faith, it is impossible. Everybody say impossible. It is impossible to please God. Hindi mo mabibigyan kaluguran ang Diyos. Hindi mo makukuha ang approval ng Diyos kung walang pananampalataya sa relasyon mo sa Panginoon. Hallelujah. Praise God. I'm glad the Bible did not say without faith or without without the talent of playing the keyboard, you cannot please God. I'm glad the Bible did not say that. Otherwise, bagsak na tayo dyan, yung iba na hindi marunong mag-play ng piano. Kung sa pamamagitan niyan lamang, mapi-please natin ang Panginoon. Marami sa atin, hindi natin kayang i-please ang Panginoong Diyos. Amen. I'm glad the Bible did not say, if you don't play the guitars, the bass and the rhythm guitar, The way they do, we cannot please God. I'm glad the Bible did not say that. Amen. Dahil kung ganun ang pamantaya ng Panginoon para natin siya ma-please, marami sa atin, hindi natin ma-please ang Diyos. Hallelujah. I'm glad the Bible did not say if you're not able to give the tithes like other people give their tithes in enormous amounts, we cannot please God. I'm glad the Bible did not say that. 
Otherwise, meron sa atin kung ano, ano lang ang ating mga kayanan, kahit na ibigay natin lahat ito, hindi para hindi pa rin kayang tumbasan ang ibinibigay ng iba sa isang napakahalaking halagang amount ng kanilang tithes and offering. I'm glad the Bible did not say, if you cannot give a huge amount in your tithes and offering, you cannot please God. Otherwise, marami sa atin mga kapatid, ang hindi mabibigyang kaluguran ng ating Panginoong Diyos. Hallelujah! But the Bible says, without faith, just simply the word faith, amen, if you have faith, then you can please God. Hallelujah! And that means all of us here today, we can please God. Kahit sino sa atin mga kapatid ngayong umaga, Bata ka man, matanda ka man, ano man ang pinag-aralan mo, ano man ang antas mo sa buhay, ano man klase ng pamumuhay meron ka, basta't mayroon kang palanampalataya, yan lamang ang pamantaya ng Diyos para mabigyan natin siya ng kaluguran. It's all about faith. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon, purihin natin siya ng may palataya. We believe in you, Lord. Help us to increase our faith, oh God. Help us to increase our faith, Lord. Come on, somebody, I want you to pray with me for a minute. Pray with me for a minute. Hallelujah, the Lord is trying to help somebody here today. God is trying to reach out to somebody here today because God wants you to live by faith. God wants you to live by faith. Amen. When the Bible says faith is the substance of things that we hope for, yung mga inaasahan nating mga bagay. Nakikita na natin ng assurance ang kasiguruhan niya. Meron ng substance kahit na hindi natin nakikita. It is the substance or the assurance of the things that we hope for. It is also the evidence of the things that we do not see. Imagine, hindi mo nakikita ang isang bagay pero meron ka ng ebidensya. Hindi pa dumadating ang isang bagay na naasahan mo, mayroon ka ng ebidensya. Hindi mo pa nahawakan, hindi pa dumarating, pero mayroon ka ng kasiguruhan at mayroon ka ng ebidensya. Posible lamang yan mga kapatid sa mga anak ng Diyos na mayroong pananampalataya. Amen. Sabagkat yan ang ibig sabihin ng pakahulugan ng pananampalataya. Amen. It is the evidence, the substance, the assurance of the things that we hope for. Ang ebidensya ng mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya, naniniwala tayo na darating yan. Naniniwala tayo na mangyayari yan. Naniniwala tayo na makikita natin ang mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita sa kasalukuyan. Pinaglilingkuran natin ang Diyos na hindi nakikita. Pinaglilingkuran natin, binibu, nagbibigay tayo, nagpupuri tayo, naglilingkod tayo, nagtitipon-tipon tayo sa harapan ng Diyos na hindi nakikita. Amen. Bakit natin ito ginagawa, mga kapatid? Sapagkat naniniwala tayo. Kahit na hindi natin nakikita, meron tayong ebidensya, meron tayong patotoo, meron tayong katiyakan. Amen. Sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya. Praise God. Hallelujah. I wish I can just stand before you today without faith. Amen. But I... I am standing before you today with the faith believing that God will speak to every heart, that God will meet everybody's needs, that God will increase your faith, that God will be pleased in your life because God will encourage, will strengthen, and will empower your faith. Palakpakan uli natin ang Panginoon, mga kapatid. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise God, praise God. The Bible 
also said, by grace we are saved through faith. Naligtas tayong lahat sa pamamagitan ng biyaya ng Diyos. Amen. A lot of churches would just focus on the grace of God. Yes, it's true. That's what the Bible says. We're saved by grace. But let us never forget and omit the phrase that says, we are saved by grace through faith. Amen. The vehicle that brings grace to us, the vehicle, ang instrumentong ginagamit ng Diyos para tanggapin natin ang kanyang biyaya, para maniwala tayo sa kanyang biyaya, para tayo'y maligtas sa kanyang biyaya, ay sa pamamagitan ng ating pananampalatay. You would have not repented in your sins. You would have not ba been baptized in Jesus' name. You would have not seek to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost if you do not have faith. It's all about faith. Praise God. It's all about faith. Hallelujah. Praise God. That's why the Bible tells us Throughout the pages of the Bible, it says, The just shall live by faith. Kung ikaw ay pinapaging banal ng Diyos, kung ikaw ay ligtas, kung ikaw ay anak ng Diyos, then mamuhay ka sa pananampalataya. The just shall live by faith. We walk by faith and not by sight. Amen. If we walk by sight, then we only, we only do things because there are things that we can see in our naked eyes that are tangible, that are visible. Kung wala nang mga bagay na yun, then we will not do things. Amen. But we walk by faith and not by sight. Jesus said, it is better for them who, who believe and cannot see Sahil sa kanila ang kaharian ng Diyos. Amen. You do not see and yet you believe. That is faith. So we live by faith. Amen. Praise God. The just shall live by faith. Now, alam niya ng kaaway natin. Alam ng demonyo kung gaano ka makapangyarihan ang pananampalataya. Alam ng Diablo na ang lahat ng ginagawa natin, mga kapatid, nagiging matagumpay, nagiging pagpapala, nagkakaroon tayo ng deliverance. Amen. Nagkakaroon tayo ng malapit na relasyon sa ating Panginoon. Nagiging successful ang ating mga ministries. Alam ng kaawayan. It's all because of our faith. Amen. Lahat, mga kapatid, Lahat, we all have one thing in common. Whether you are a young Christian or a veteran, an old Christian living for God or a minister, a veteran minister, we all have one thing in common. Amen. The common denom denominator that we have is faith. Praise God. Faith. Tayong lahat, mga kapatid, ay namumuhay sa pananampalataya. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So the devil knows and understands the power of faith. So if he will try to attack you, kung aatakihin ka ng Diablo, kung tatalunin ka ng Diablo, kung itutumba ka ng Diablo, kung ihihiwalay ka ng Diablo mula sa kaharian ng Diyos, kung gusto ng Diablo na tumalikod ka sa paglilingkod mo sa Panginoon, unang aatakihin niya ay ang iyong panampalataya. He is always focused on the faith of the Christian. Laging andyan niyan, mga kapatid. Lahat ng ginagawa niya ay nakasentro sa iyong panampalataya upang manghina ka sa iyong panampalataya. He will try to inject doubts and fears and unbeliefs in your mind. And by the time you started doubting the Word of God, by the time you started questioning the promises of God, by the time you started complaining, 
about what God is doing, then the devil knows that he is progressing. He is succeeding. Siya ay nagtatagumpay, mga kapatid, sapagkat nakikita niyang panampalataya ng anak ng Diyos ay unti-unting humihina at unti-unting na nawawala. Amen. At kapag nawala na ang ating panampalataya, then we are back to the chains of sin. We are back to the, to the uh, dominance of the devil. And back to the chains being dragged to hell. Amen. Diyan na pagtatagumpaya ng kaaway ang isang anak ng Diyos kung makukuha niya ang iyong pananampalataya. There's a song that we used to sing. I'm an old school. And so, if some of you remembers that song, that song says, when you're up against the struggles and shattered all your dreams and your hopes have been cruelly crushed by Satan's manifested kin. And the, the urge you have within you, you want to submit to earthly fears. The Bible says, do not let the faith you're holding on, do not let the faith you're standing in seem to disappear. Amen. Wag. Kung mawawala man sa iyo ang mga bagay na iyong pinopossess, kung kung magkasakit man ang iyong katawan, kung mawalan ka man ng, ng, ng pera, kung mawalan ka man ng trabaho, kung anumang pagsubok ang mga pagdaanan mo sa iyong, sa iyong buhay, Amen. Pwedeng mawala sa iyo kahit na ano. Pwedeng mawala sa iyo lahat ng tinanggap mo. Pwedeng mawala sa iyo maging ang mga riyarian mo. At pero ang hindi po pwedeng iwala mo, hindi mo po pwedeng ibigay ang iyong pinangahawakan, ang pananampalataya. Amen. Hallelujah. God will allow for you to try, to, for your faith to be tried. Susubukan ng iyong pananampalataya. Minsan mawala ang mga bagay na importante sa atin. Titignan niya kung gaano tayo titibay, mga kapatid, sa pamamagitan ng panampalataya na hindi natin binibitawan. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't let the faith you're holding on disappear. You just need to continue to praise the Lord. You just need to continue to worship the Lord. You just need to keep doing what you're doing in the kingdom of God. You just need to keep praying. You just need to keep coming to the church. You just need to be to stay be faithful unto God. Even if you have lost everything, do not ever lose your faith. Amen. Ang pananampalataya lamang mga kapatid ang makapaghatid sa atin doon sa finish line. Whether you like it or not, the only thing that will take you to the finish line, if you, even if you have lost everything, but the only possession that you have left is faith. Amen. You will see the face of Jesus Christ, your Savior, at His appearing at the rapture time. Amen. Kahit na sugatan tayong dumating doon, kahit nang ihina tayong dumating doon, kahit na, kahit na nawalan tayo ng maraming mga bagay pagdating doon, pero ang titingnan ng Panginoon, ang pananampalataya na gatid sa atin doon, at pag nakita yan ng Panginoon, kahit na may mga luha tayo sa ating mga mata, kahit na may mga sakit tayong naramdaman, man. Papawiin niya ng Panginoon. Iakbay niya ang kanyang kamay sa iyong balikat at sasabihin niya, Come, you blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom that is prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Enter into the joy of the Lord because you made it. You made it to the finish line by faith. By faith. Remember, He is the author. He is the finisher of our faith. Amen. What He started in you, He is faithful to complete it for you. Praise God. You just need to continue holding on to your faith. Salamat po, Panginoon. Would you pray with me just for a minute? Hallelujah. Salamat po, Panginoong Diyos. 
O oh God, sa, sa panampalataya na aming nasumpungan sa aming buhay, na tinanggap namin ng iyong mga salita, kami ay nangagsisi na bautismuan, tumanggap ng iyong banal na espiritu, na mumuhay kami ng kabanalan, nagaantay kami sa iyong pagbabalik. Panginoon, salamat sa panampalataya na iyong sinimulan sa aming buhay, Panginoon. At pangahawakan namin ito, Diyos, hanggang sa iyong pagbabalik. Lord, we pray today, increase our faith. If there's anybody here today, oh God, that is struggling, that is going through hard, hard things in life, Lord God, I pray that you help them, Lord, in the faith they're holding on, to hold it tight and never let go of it. Hallelujah. Malapit ng pagbabalik ng Panginoon. Some of you may have been in this journey for many years, maybe for decades. Malapit ng pagbabalik ng Panginoon. Amen. Panatiliin mong hawakan ang panampalatahan. Sometimes, yun pang malapit na sa finish line, doon pa tayo nadadapa. At yung ibang nadarapa, Hindi na tumatayo. They just give up. But the finish line is about right there. Just a few more stretch. A few more time. We do not know. Maybe, maybe today, tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. We do not know. But the coming of the Lord is always imminent. You, we never know. But we see everywhere. We don't need to read the, the cover of the news, the newspaper. Amen. We see the signs everywhere. Jesus is coming soon. Magpakatibay, magpakatatag ka sa iyong panampalataya, kapatid. Although, of course, I understand. There are times we prayed and we prayed and we prayed for something. And it never happened. We had questions after questions after questions before God. And it was never answered. I understand there are some of us here today. You have pushed and pushed and pushed something in your walk with God, in the kingdom of God. And it never pushed through. You never had a breakthrough. I understand there are some saints in this room today. Who thought you got it all figured out and then at the end, you realize it's a failure. It didn't work. And so there are times you almost just throw in the towel. I surrender muna ang yung sarili at sumuko ka na. That's when our faith is being tested. Amen. That's when our faith will be tried. And sometimes kapag kasinubo ang ating panampalataya, mga kapatid, sometimes dadaan tayo sa apoy, dadaan tayo sa iba't ibang klase ng pagsubok. But the trying of your faith worketh patience. Be patient in tribulation. Amen. Sa iyong mga pinagdaraanan, sa iyong pamumuhay, sa mga pagsubok na dumarating sa iyong buhay. Amen. Because the trying of your faith worketh patience. The Lord wants to give you the fruit of patience. That's one of the cluster of the fruit of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit. Patience. Patience is a virtue. Praise God. Gusto ng Panginoon na mag-improve, mag-grow ang ating patience. Kasi kung wala tayong patience, hindi tayo mga karating sa ating patutunguhan. It's all because our faith is being tried. We have to have the patience that we need. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, when our faith is being tried, sometimes it gets frustrating. Sino rito ang nafo-frustrate sa kanilang pananampalataya? Yung past, punta ka ng punta ng church. Pray ka ng pray. Bigay ka ng bigay sa Panginoon. And yet, yung prayers mo hindi pa nasasagot. And yet, yung sakit mo hindi pa gumagaling. 
And yet, yung katanungan mo hindi pa nasasagot. And yet, yung mga taong ipinapanalangin mo hindi pa rin nasasave. And you kept coming, and you kept coming, and you kept coming, and you kept praying, and you kept praying, and you kept worshiping, and you kept giving. Till you get to the point, you're getting frustrated. You're getting frustrated. Sino rito ang nafu-frustrate sa kanilang panampalataya? Come on, may I see your hands. Hindi ba nakaka-frustrate minsan? Yung pag-aantay? It's normal. It happens. But I want you to know, frustrated faith is not the will of God. It's not, it's not pleasing to God. It's not approved unto God. Kasi yung frustrated faith, mga kapatid, ay kawala ng pagtitiwala sa Panginoon. Kakulangan ng pananampalataya sa Panginoon. Pag nafu-frustrate na ang iyong pananampalataya, nagumpisa ka ng magtanong, nagumpisa ka ng magduda, nagumpisa ng uh, uh, questionin mo ang mga pangako ng Diyos sa iyong buhay. Kapag nafu-frustrate tayo sa ating pananampalataya. I remember Jesus said unto Peter, His name was Simon at the time. Sabi ng Panginoon sa kanya, Simon, Simon, Satan, or the devil has tried to get you and sift you like wheat. Gusto kang makuha ng kaaway. Gusto kang makuha ng demonyo, Pedro. Gusto niyang ligligin ang buhay mo tulad sa trigo, tulad sa palay. Gusto niyang ishake ang iyong buhay. Ang iyong, ang iyong paglilingkod sa akin, sa Panginoon. Gusto kang kunin ng kaaway. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? But I have prayed for you, Simon, so that your faith will not fail. Amen. Again, it's about faith. The Lord sees when we go through trials. Nakikita ng Panginoon when we go goes through tribulation. Nakikita ng Panginoon kapag niyayanig, sineshake ang ating buhay, ang ating relasyon sa Panginoon, ang ating paglilingkod sa Panginoon. Nakikita yan ang Panginoon. But the Lord is more concerned on the faith that you're holding on. He's praying and interceding through the Holy Spirit for you and for me that our faith will not fail. And so the apostles says, the Lord, requested the Lord, Lord, increase our faith. God, increase our faith. Patibayin mo ang aming panampalataya, Panginoon, sapagkat ito lakmang ang pinangahawakan namin para mabigyan ka namin ng kaluguran. Praise God. The voice of a frustrated faith I believe we can read that in the book of Psalms. Let's look at it in the book of Psalms, chapter 13. See, si David, mga kapatid, ay nananaghoy, umiiyak sa Panginoon. Out of frustration, tinatanong niya ang ating Panginoong Diyos. Ang sabi niya, Psalms 13, 1 to 6. How long will you forget me, O Lord? Sino rito ang nakaranas na parang nakalimutan ka ng Panginoon? Sino rito ang nakakaramdam kung minsan na parang hindi na alam ng Panginoon kung saan ka nakatira? Sino rito ang parang minsan naramdaman mo na parang iniwanan ka ng Diyos? Parang si Job, hinanap niya ang Panginoon sa harapan. Wala siya doon. Hindi niya masumpungan doon sa kaliwa. Hindi niya masumpungan doon sa kanan. Hindi niya masumpungan ng Diyos. Doon sa likod, hindi niya rin masumpungan ng Diyos. How many of us here today feel that way? Na parang kung minsan iniwan tayo ng Panginoon. Kung minsan hindi, na, hindi alam ng Panginoon, parang hindi alam ng Panginoon kung ano ang ating pinagdaraanan. Parang hindi naramdaman ng Diyos ang sakit na ating nararamdaman. 
Ang sabi ni David, How long, O oh God, that you will forget me? Forever! Tinanong niya ang Panginoon. Ang tagal ko nang nagaantay, Panginoon. Hanggang kailan nakakalimutan mo ako? Pang walang hanggan? Pang walang katapusan? I want you to relate and to feel what David feels at the moment when he was crying unto God. Crying out to God and asking question, how long? And how long will you hide your face from me? How long shall I take counsel in my soul, having sorrow in my heart daily? How long shall mine enemies be exalted over me? Consider and hear me, O Lord my God. Lighten my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death. Let my enemies say I have prevailed against him, and those that trouble me rejoice when I am moved. How long, O God? How long, O God? Oh, Jesus. Hanggang kailan? Bago namin tanggapin ng aming hinihiling. Hanggang kailan? Bago namin makamtan ng aming kagalingan. Hanggang kailan, Panginoon, bago namin makita ang kaligtasan ng aming mga mahal, mahal sa buhay. Lord, how long will you forgive us? Will you forget us forever? But David woke up to reality and remembered who his God is. He said in verse 5, But I have trusted in your mercy. Umaasa na lang ako sa iyong kahabagan. Your mercy endureth forever. Your mercy, they are new every morning. I have trusted in your mercy. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing unto the Lord because he hath dealt bountifully with me. Amen. That's when David realized God still with him. The sovereignty of God is still on the throne no matter what. Amen. He's still the King of kings and the Lord of lords and the only one true God who deserves all the praise and the glory and the honor. Amen. Hallelujah. Kaya ang sabi niya mga kapatid, sabi niya sa verse 5, my heart will rejoice in your salvation. Doon tayo mga kapatid, kahit nasa gitna ng mga pagsubok na dumarating sa ating buhay, we can still keep rejoicing in the God of our salvation. Even if it hurts, we can still raise our hands no matter what we're going through and rejoice in the God of our salvation. Amen. You see, the God that we're serving is a faithful God. Faithful, matapat ang Diyos. Amen. Ang katapatan ng Diyos ay hindi nakasalalay kung tayo ay meron o wala, may sakit o wala, malakas o mahina. Kahit malakas o mahina, meron o wala, kahit anong katayuan at sa buhay, hindi nagbabago ang Diyos, mga kapatid. Kahit pabago-bago ang ating mga, mga pangyayari sa ating buhay, minsan nasa taas, minsan nasa baba, minsan masigla, minsan mahina, minsan malakas, minsan may sakit. Kahit pabago-bago ang takbo ng ating buhay, mga kapatid, ang Diyos na ating pinaglilingkuran, amen, hindi nagbabago. Siya pa rin ang Diyos na mapata. Siya ay Diyos na matapat. God is faithful. And so He deserves for us to continue to rejoice in the God of our salvation. You see, the joy of the Lord is your strength. That's what the Bible says, right? The joy of the Lord is your strength. So what that means is, kapag meron tayong kagalakan, ng Panginoon, yun ang nagbibigay kalakasan sa atin. Amen? 
So ang ibig sabihin niyan, kapag ibinigay mo yung joy of the Lord mo, yung worship mo, yung rejoicing mo, yung pagpupuri mo, if you let go, if you give that away, you lose your strength. Mawala yung lakas, yung pananampalataya mo, you lose your strength. Manghihina ka pa, manghihina ka kapag wala, nawala ang gagalaka ng Panginoon. Because the joy of the Lord is your strength. If you lose your joy, you lose your strength. If you lose your strength, you lose the power to resist and fight the enemy. If you lose the power to resist and fight the enemy, then the enemy has conquered your soul. Amen. The enemy will take you to his possession. Kapag sinimulan mo na ibigay ang joy of the Lord. Because the joy of the Lord gives us the strength that we need. Praise God. So we need to keep our faith. We need to keep our faith. The question is, Pastor, how do we increase our faith? How do we increase our faith? Romans 10, 17. Faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Dumadating ang pananampalataya kapag nakakapakinig ka ng salita ng Diyos. Amen. Hallelujah. Nung tayo ay tumanggap ng, ng biyayang kaligtasan, ito ay mula nung narinig natin ang salita ng Diyos. Nagkaroon tayo ng pananampalataya sa salita ng Diyos. Kung kaya tayo ng desisyon, dahil sa pananampalataya, tinanggap natin ang biyayang kaligtasan ng Diyos. Amen. Hallelujah. Because faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. So how do we increase our faith? You need to keep hearing the voice of the Lord. You need to keep reading the word of God. You need to keep coming to church and hear the preacher preach the word of God. Hear the teacher of the word teach the word of God because that's where our faith come from. That's where our faith is being increased. That's where our faith grows. Hallelujah. Praise God. And today, I have just preached to you the word of God about faith. Whatever status you were in the beginning, kung anong kalagayan mo nung una, kanina, bago ka dumating dito, my prayer is that you walk out different than when you walk in. Gusto kong lalabas ka, puspus ng Espiritu ng Panginoon. Malakas ang iyong panampalataya. Tinugun ng Diyos ang iyong pangangailangan. Tinugun ng Diyos ang iyong mga katagunan. Amen. Hallelujah. Naramdaman mo ang banal na presensya ng Diyos. At lumakas ang iyong panampalataya. You will come out this place rejoicing. What, a, what an encounter with God. What a presence of God. What a word of God that is preached today. My faith is empowered. My faith is strengthened. My faith has increased. Hallelujah. Let's all stand together. Palagpakan natin ang Panginoon, mga kapatid. Hallelujah! 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 Come on, express your faith unto God. Hallelujah! You have just heard the word of God preached today. Narinig mo ang pulong ng salita ng Diyos. You would come to the altar today to respond, to respond to the word of God. Amen. Every step of the way when you come to the altar, I want you to do it with a step of faith. Bawat hakbang na gagawin mo patungo sa harapan upang tumugon sa salita ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ng pananampalataya. Every step, I believe, Lord. Every step, Lord, I know you take care of me. Every step, Lord, you will bless me today. Every step, come on, every step of the way, come to the altar and believe.
believe that you receive what God wants you to receive today. Believe what God knows what you need and He will meet you at the altar today. Hallelujah. Have faith. Your faith has strengthened. Pinalalakas ang iyong panampalataya sa pakikinig mo ng salita ng Diyos. Kung kaya't buksan mo lamang ang iyong puso at tumawag ka sa pangalan ng Panginoon. Lord, I believe. I believe you know what I need. I believe you hear me today. I believe in what you promised. And God, I receive it today by faith. I receive it today by faith. So when you stand before the presence of the Lord right now, let me make a pronouncement by the authority of the Word of God and by the power that's in the name of Jesus. Receive what you need by faith. Receive the answer to your prayer by faith. Believe and receive from the Lord today. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. If you have now received the baptism of the Holy Ghost, receive it right now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Come on, somebody. Receive. Receive by faith. Believe and receive. In the name of Jesus. I don't know what you need. I don't know what you pray about. I don't know what you're going through. But here you are in the presence of God. By faith. By faith. By faith you believe. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 